Well, we are all ready for Halloween here at the Imagination Station. I have Chief Scientist Carl Nelson, and Carl, I have a feeling we are not making pumpkin pie today. We might. Oh, we just okay. might. Come, come on down okay. here. Check this out. So we're going to do a little chemical reaction. This is a demonstration we call the, the self-carving pumpkin. Okay. Okay. And so in order to, to make this reaction happen, um, inside, down in here, I put a tiny little cup filled with calcium carbide. Okay. Now we've worked with this before. Yeah. When we add water to calcium carbide, we generate acetylene gas. All right. So that's what we're going to do inside our pumpkin. So I'm going to I'm going to put this down inside right there. Make sure it doesn't fall over. And I've got a tiny little cup of water. So let me walk through what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to add <laughs> the water to the acetylene. I'm going to put the lid back on top. And in the back, I've got this little gizmo here. It's like a grill lighter. <laughs> So when you snap it, you get a spark, okay? I see. So I put that in there very carefully. Make sure it still ignites, looks good. So we're gonna build up acetylene gas inside this volume of the pumpkin. Now there's still oxygen inside the pumpkin as well. If we generate too much acetylene, which means if we wait too long to pull the trigger, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, okay, so we're on a time crunch. But we don't wanna do it too quickly either. Oh. And exactly what that okay. timing is, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll do an experiment. We'll see if we can figure it out, okay? All right, now, fair enough. When the acetylene combusts inside, it heats up the air inside, it's going to generate pressure. We don't want the lid to fall off, so I'm going to hold the lid on tight, and you will have the honor of doing the clicker. Okay. Did we put the water in? Not yet. Not yet, okay. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't want you to <laughs> click it just if I wasn't ready. Okay, so oh. let's make sure we got this set up just right. All right, this is our test model, and then we're going to move on to something bigger and okay. better. So I'm gonna add the water. Don't click that quite yet. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. <laughs> hey, did it work? Whoa. It did, look at that. It's a self-carving oh pumpkin. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love that, right? <laughs> Does the work for you? Okay, now I have to mention, <laughs> this, this worked great. And I love the spooky flames coming out. Ooh. There is a fine line between the self-carving pumpkin and the exploding pumpkin. Oh boy. So that's what we're going to move on to next. Okay. Okay, so step on down over here. <laughs> now, here, I've got the same setup. I've just got four pumpkins, and we have four little cups inside. So go ahead and take your last lid off. Ooh, and I put one. notches on the lid so it's really easy to get them back on. So we're going to try to do the same thing, but this time, here's the secret I've put some holes in between all the pumpkins. So you are going to ignite the combustion reaction down here, and the flame hopefully will propagate through all the pumpkins, and we'll have something really cool happen. All right. Okay. As long as it's not in a big explosion. Well, I, I can't guarantee that. Oh, there's a little bit of oh, a little okay. bit of uncertainty on you know <laughs> the timing, the volume of gas, how the the granules react. Smaller granules will react faster than larger ones. So there is a little bit of a uncertainty in this. Okay. So because of that. What we're going to do is when you do this last one, uh -huh. make sure you put your hand on top, on top and hold that the, one down. Okay. Practice that. You're going to be comfortable with this. You get one hand. One hand. And then one hand does the trigger. Perfect. Oh, boy. Okay. okay. i so got to gear up for this. What we're going to do is we've got to coordinate this. We're going to pick up our water, and we're going to put it in. Just anywhere in the pumpkin, in right? In the little cup. In the little cup. With the granules. Okay, and we're going to do them kind of at the same time. All right? Okay. This is going to be tricky, but well, we can make it work. Now, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do it in, we'll, I'll do a countdown, three, two, one, then we'll pour, okay? okay. Three, two, one, pour it in. Add it to okay. the carbide. Let's get the lids on top. Don't do it yet, don't do it yet. I got to get okay. behind you, okay? All right, you tell me three, when. Three, two, <laughs> one. Okay, what did we get? We got one exploding pumpkin. We got 13 AB. AB, <laughs> let me see. And one exploding pumpkin. The B's on fire. Is it? And the C is gone. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, the C, uh, it's, it's somewhere behind the videographer. I don't know. We lost that oh one. Oh, my gosh. Like There's I said, pieces it's, all over. it's a little bit unpredictable, but it is, <laughs> it is kind of a fun uh, demonstration oh that we gosh. do. Oh, my gosh. Well, maybe we did uh, start making pumpkin pie here a little bit. <laughs> I think if you hadn't said that, it would have worked perfectly. <laughs> Anyway, this is some of the fun stuff we do for Halloween. Of course, we're not open quite yet, but we do have a lot of virtual stuff happening on the website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. Check it out. Birthday parties, slime workshops, um, all sorts of cool stuff. All sorts of cool stuff to do for <laughs> Halloween. Carl, thanks so much. And that's how you imagine it.